Hey there, Cats and Kitties, I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is going to be another DC Comics New 52 review. In this particular instance, I'm looking at Supergirl number six. This follows right where we left off in number five. Um, you know, Kara has basically traveled through space back to the last, you know, remnants of the city she grew up in, Argo City, and uh, it's now sort of an asteroid, you know, uh, tumbling around this planetoid. Um, no life is left on it. And one of the world killers that were created on Krypton called Rain uh, has basically left her for dead. So she's like left hanging there. Uh, the sword, you know, Rain's sword cleaved her cape into the wall. She's left dangling. Her powers have basically gone completely away. And she's, you know, kind of reserved to the idea that this is where she's going to die. Uh, because Rain left her behind, has come to Earth to basically start World War III. And, um, but as we see, as Kara's kind of lost hope, um, she ends up finding it again. She has this sort of spiritual vision of her parents uh, that come to her and tell her she really does have the power. Just as she carries their memory in her heart, they, you know, think of her always, and there's this really neat little scene where you see her father's ghostly hand grab the, uh, you know, the butt of the sword and say, let us pull it out together, and this is what gets her free, and a really touching little scene. Uh, so then, basically, uh, we follow up with Rain, who is now on Earth. She is making it, you know, so that tanks and stuff are trying to battle her and she's thwarting them and everything she wants to kill the best of the best soldiers we have uh first and then you know subdue the rest of the world supergirl shows up and they duke it out a little bit more some words are exchanged about how rain's you know memory is also affected and she doesn't know what happened to krypton she's not really understanding things she has done something to make it so that superman cannot intervene which is pretty clever because that's the question you know why can't superman come and help supergirl uh no this is supergirl's battle and by the end of it we see that well there isn't just one world killer uh supergirl that really has a lot to deal with coming in the next issue and i gotta say just brilliant brilliant issue um i love this two-page spread once kara is free and she sees her you know former world argo or rather city uh, tumbling down and being destroyed, and, you know, it basically marks the end of uh, her early life. So, uh, s just stellar issue. This gets five out of five, and uh, you really should pick it up if you haven't seen it. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on it, and I'll catch you later. Peace.